Okay, so um, now let's go back to structural isomers, talking about structural isomers. So instead of Okay, so remember, C4H10 we talked about, that's a saturated hydrocarbon. Okay, so if it's something lower than the um, CN H2N plus 2 in H's, right? If it's something like C4H8, we know it's going to be not a saturated hydrocarbon. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and erase everything else. In fact, if you've got this formula here, C, what would be CN, H2N, okay? That means you've either got one ring in your structure or one double bond, okay? One ring or one double bond. Double bond, D -D. So, this is saturated hydrocarbon. We'll erase all that. So, C4H8, we should be looking for rings and double bonds. Okay? So, let's draw some molecules in our ring that have four carbon atoms. Remember, the hydrogens all have to be on the outside still, right? Because they can only make the one bond. So, it's going to be in a ring. got to look with something like that. Okay. So is there any other types of rings that you can make with four carbon atoms? Can anybody else think of one? One that has, doesn't necessarily have to have four all in the ring, right? You can have three in the ring and one outside of the ring, like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill in our hydrogen so we don't get confused. Okay. Oops. Let's draw the bond line form of this. What does it look like? Yep. That's it. Square. Okay. What about this thing? How many hydrogens are here? Three. How many here? Come on, guys. What about everybody else? What about here? Two. What about here? Two. Okay. Let's draw the bottom line for them. Could you think of another one? Something like that, maybe? Something weird like that? That doesn't work though, right? There's only six hydrogens. Okay? But what else did we say? It's not only a ring, but what? A double bond, right? So, can we put a double bond? We've got four carbons, right? So it can't be a ring and a double bond. Okay, it's got to be one or the other. So we can put carbon, carbon, double bond, carbon, carbon, like that. Would that work? Can we do it a different way? Yeah, how, how else can we do it? Carbon, double bond. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay, let's just draw the hydrogen in, in both of these structures.
This looks weird because usually you want to do it at a 120 degree bond angle. We'll talk about that later. Are these the same molecule? No. -uh. Why? Because you've got to break a bond and make a bond, right? You definitely have to make, you know, that bond there if they're going to be the same molecule. Right, and that's a reaction. Okay. So let's draw the bond line form for these things. Okay. So this one, remember Charlie Brown. So one, two, three, four. Okay. This thing's called one butene. One butene. Whenever that's whenever you, so we'll we'll write it. One, two, team. Whenever you see this ene, E N E, that means you've got an alkene, which is a functional group that's the double bond between two carbon atoms. Okay. So functional groups I talked about last time as being around heteroatoms. They're also around multiple bonds in carbon-carbon molecules or carbon-carbon. This one, what do you think the name of this one's called? 2-butene. 2-butene. Yeah, it's 2-butene. Now, how'd you figure that out? It's because you did this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that, okay? The double bonds on the first carbon. Okay, it goes in between the first carbon. First and second carbon. Here, so, here we go. Why didn't I do it? 1, 2, 3, 4. We call this 3-butene. It's because the double bond carbon takes precedence over the other. Okay. Um, this guy here is called two butene. Why? One, two, three, four. Right. So it's in between the second and third carbon. So it's called two butene. Okay. Let's draw the bond line form of this. Remember Charlie Brown. Like that. Okay. Does it matter if it's the double bond or the bottom? Double bonds are on the bottom or on the top? I don't know what that well, question means. On the bottom line structure, that's uh -huh. how you line. I did it on the top and the edges on the bottom, so it doesn't matter. I don't know what you're saying, I'm sorry. But you got to show me your thing. Your line that you have on the bottom? Um, just show it. <laughs> you can yell at me, but I can't, I can't understand it. Yeah, so does it, that, it does not matter, no. So the question was this. Can I draw it like that? Or can I draw it like that? They're both the same molecule. Okay? Or you can draw it like how I drew it. Like that. Okay? So it's all the same thing. Um, 2 butene. Okay, so we're going to go more into this structure in a second. Okay? So notice they all have the same formula, C4H8. Okay, so um, I can't think of any more. The other thing is, is why didn't we say let's do 3 butene, right? Like this one. Why didn't we do that one? Why didn't I think about it? It's the same as this one. Yeah. Why? Because I can turn it around. And it's the same thing. So these are just conformational isomers of each other. Okay? Does that make sense? That's just like me going like this. And it's the same thing. It's a conformational isomer of these. You know? Is everybody okay with that? So don't put both of them. Any other questions? Okay, cool.